Hello friends, uh, if you're here in WA, you might be feeling it too. There's definitely something in the air with the recent announcement about mandates. I've had lots of people in the last 24 hours or so connect with me and a lot of them are stressed, agitated, uh, concerned um, with this recent mandate, what it means to them, to their family, to their community, to their business and to their livelihoods. Is it right? Is it good? Is it true? Is it uh, just smoke screens? Is it legal? Is it constitutional? Who knows? But if you're asking all these questions, you're probably suffering just like some of the other people that I've spoken to from going around and around in circles. And why are you going around and around in circles, you might ask. It's the same condition that you'd go through if you've recently suffered grief or loss of any kind. We go around and around in circles asking questions to try and understand the logic. But some of this stuff, since it began two years ago, has been completely illogical. Lots of it has not made any sense. Um, so perhaps put that down for a moment, that whole idea of going around in circles and start looking at something from a completely different level. Instead of looking at this from a 3D, physical, constricted, restricted uh, aspect or view, what if you looked at this from a spiritual perspective? This isn't just my opinion. This is something I've been practicing over the last two years. And I got it from the concepts of Rudolf Steiner. Now, you might know Rudolf Steiner as a scientist, as a mystic. Um, Rudolf Steiner was uh, one of the world's best educators. He lived around 100 years ago during the Spanish flu. And he said back then that what was happening back then is not just an epidemic and a health crisis. It was a spiritual crisis. And if you look at it from that aspect, a lot of people today don't know who they really are and not connected within themselves. They're looking for things outside of themselves, outside of themselves to validate them. So if you're a doctor and you've been in an institutional kind of job for the last 30 years, you might be questioning now, why do I not want to go along with this? Why am I not happy or not, don't feel like it's right to go with this mandate? What does it mean to me? And I'm only picking a doctor as an example because I do have friends that are doctors that have had these issues. The current state threatens your livelihood, it threatens your title, it threatens everything you've known for the last 30 years. What you need to be doing is stepping outside of that just for a moment, even if it's just to have a little break and figuring out, is this system what I want to be defined by and is this what I want to stay in? Um, is this situation going to end me or do I need to end it in terms of ending a career? Maybe it's not even like that. Connecting within your own spirit and making a decision from there is the most important thing to do at this time. Rather than feeling the restrictions of being a human being at this time and all the restrictions and the mandates and all those things that are coming through, connecting within your spirit, you are unlimited, you are completely unrestricted and create some solutions from there. And it could be that you, if you are that doctor that I'm describing right now, you create your own health center that's outside of the system that is being mandated and being restricted and that creates holistic solutions. If you're not a doctor and that's not your field, just use the example that I'm giving here as a metaphor to what you might need to be doing. If you could look at this and consider this from a spiritual aspect rather than a physical human 3D aspect. I'm Bas Tadros. I've been helping a lot of people create strategies that get them out of the confines of their minds. And some of these confines of their minds could be the stresses, griefs, addictions, and so on. Um, but I see myself as more of a strategist and I help people strategize to get out of being stuck and explore the full potential of their, who they truly are. So unlocking your true potential as a human being. And a lot of people are stuck in the human part and are not even exploring the being part. If that's something that you want to look into, just be mindful and aware that there's not a lot I can share on, uh, especially these platforms and the social media. Um, it might be something that we'd need to have a conversation around outside of these uh, restrictive and prohibitive um, um, platforms. But for now, hopefully this gives you some comfort. Start to connect within yourself. Look at this from a holistic perspective as a being rather than as a human that's restricted by the mandates and the things that are around you. Stay well, stay true and stay healthy.